Hey, welcome to the final part of Sonic CD, folks, and we are now in Stardust Speedway Act Number Three. And I'm glad I got to show the good future off here a little bit because I like the rest of the game. But I think overall it just looks wonderful. And anyways, there's that wacky troublemaking metal hedgehog, Metal Sonic again. And the goal here, folks, is to outrun him, as well as that laser beam that Eggman's shooting at you. Oh, and Metal Sonic pulls out all the stops here, so this is actually a pretty difficult race at times. I've, I've had many a death here. I also really like that they show this off in the ending animation for Sonic CD. But anyways, yeah, this can either be, this race against Metal Sonic can go one of two ways. It could either you get through it pretty quickly, and I actually got lucky recording this. This part went pretty smooth, but sometimes not so lucky. I think this time around, though, I had enough momentum built up that I just barely got him right there. But anyways, not really much of a boss battle, but we rescue Amy, who Metal Sonic captured earlier in Collision Chaos. And I do believe that will leave us with one more zone. And oof, Metallic Madness. This is actually another zone that's in Sonic Mania, but I'm... It reminds me a lot, well, it kind of brings me back to earlier when I said of how a lot of the zones kind of remind me of similar to Sonic 1. This one reminds me a lot of Scrap Brain Zone in some ways. And this is the one zone in Sonic CD that I don't really care as much for. As this one, this one can be kind of a pain in the ass to get through, but the boss battle... The final boss battle is in is in Metallic Madness, and it's pretty easy. <laughs> you would think for a final boss battle it would be a little bit less pathetic, but... Spoilers, folks. But yeah, I'm just... I knew I wasn't gonna get 50 rings in any of these, and I don't even know if the special rings appear at the end of these acts, being the last zone in the game. But I just kind of wander through and take a lot of hits, a lot of damage. But it's just because I'm trying to get through Metallic Madness as quickly as possible. Because many of my first playthroughs with this zone, it, this is usually where it would come to a grinding halt. And I would be stuck here for quite a while. Plus, either version of the uh, soundtrack I'm not really a fan of. I just can't get behind it. Any of the past, present, or future, none of it. And the same goes for the most part with the zone as a whole. It just doesn't... It kind of breaks up all the bright, colorful shit that's going on with the rest of the game. I mean, I guess maybe not, but... Maybe not to some, but to me it kind of does. But this zone is not without its merits. There are a couple of cool things that I get to show off in Act 2 because Act 1 is over. Oh yeah, I guess I should have shared a little bit more about the story behind this game a lot sooner, but... That thing, the giant thing that Sonic's going up toward, that's not the in the, uh, bleh. that giant thing that Sonic's running toward in the opening cutscene is not the Death Egg. It is a planet, and it's called Little Planet. Not Little Big Planet, Little Planet. And anyways, the story, I guess, is that Eggman took over this little planet, and that's everything that Sonic's trying to go back and make all these good futures and stuff and free the uh, stronghold Eggman has over it. 
and because I didn't get all the time stones and I didn't make all the good futures, the little planet does reappear in the ending cutscene and, and some shit about try again. The only difference is I think some flowers appear and the little planet does not reappear. That gave me chemical plant zone vibes, that little tube that you gotta move through. Yeah, I wish I had a little bit more to say about this zone than I actually do, but... Oh yeah, that laser beam over there, that was one of the things, that's one of the merits I was talking about. Because it... <laughs> One neat thing about this zone is I've, and you basically get to play as an as a continue icon. <laughs> you get to play as a little tiny Sonic for a minute because that laser shrinks him down. Man, he's about. He's, I'm pretty sure it's the same exact sprite that they use for the continue icons. Whenever you get continues, oh, those things are pretty annoying. They remind me of those things that appear in Starlight Zone, but yep, there's a little tiny Sonic now running around, a little tiny ball just running around, being a little tiny Sonic. What's tiny Sonic gonna do? He's gonna hit that spring, and then he's gonna jump back up, and, and I just got stuck here for a minute like a jackass. But yeah, it really does just look like the uh, continue icon. One thing that's a little weird though is it looks like he has a giant head and a small body. Maybe that's just me seeing that, but <laughs> it looks really weird. But th as far as I know, this is the only game where you get to play as a continue icon. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is a really easy part to get crushed. Really easy. I've had a lot of deaths there. Oh, I'm pretty sure I got stuck here in some part there for a little while. Because I could have swore I remembered. Unless that was a separate playthrough. Because you gotta think... When I set out to record for the when I set out to record this playthrough for the channel, I did many a practice runs, many of attempts to record that just failed. And I was not satisfied with the way it was going, so I wanted to try to redo it and put a better quality product out on the Firmark Industries channel. But anyway, that'll do it for act number two here. And we'll go on to that pathetically easy final boss. Which, this is another... This was another playthrough stopper for me, actually. <laughs> when I was recording, there were a couple of times I got here and I'd game over and I'd have a pretty hard time getting through it. And that was mostly just because I kept... I, got, I kept dying and getting stuck right, right about here. This is where it would usually end for me. <laughs> But I got, I got freaking lucky. At least here. This time around. <laughs> and by this point, by this point I was just done. <laughs> I didn't want to, I didn't want to have to keep recording and redoing all this stuff because, like I said, I, I attempted many, many times before I finally got what you're seeing. But I'm just glad that I got to do this for the channel, and I'm glad that there's going to be at least a couple of people that watch this. And hopefully my future playthroughs end up being even better than this. Of Maybe one day I'll come back to this game, maybe one day I'll come back to all the classic Sonic games. But the next one I'm going to have to record for the channel, of course. I want to try to keep it chronological for now if I can. So the next couple of games I want to record are Sonic Spinball and Sonic 3. 
But in order for me to do that, I will have to wait for some cables I ordered for my Wii. And the more and more I talk about stuff like that, the more it probably dates this. But anyway, yes, this is the final boss. <laughs> this is the final boss battle against Eggman. And as you can see, pretty easy stuff. You would think at least the final boss would have been somewhat of a challenge, but it really wasn't. But maybe that's another reason why I like this game so much, because some parts of it are a little bit easier than your standard Sonic game. But anyways, folks, that'll do it. That is, that is the end. That is literally the end of Sonic CD, folks. Amy comes to greet us. And now the opening cutscene plays. And you notice I did not swap the uh, music for this one. In the intro sequence, I swapped the music for Sonic Boom. But I, never, I didn't get around to this, and I couldn't remember whether or not the lyrics actually played. But still, this is really beautiful stuff. I like what they did with the ending and opening cutscene for this game. Because this is also featured... This video sequence is also featured in Sonic Mega Collection. I'm assuming that is the one time stone we didn't get. And Sonic, <laughs> Sonic is having none of it. <laughs> yeah, Sonic's having none of it. I actually learned how to draw Sonic in that pose a long ass time ago, and I think I still have that. I think I still have that on a sheet of notebook paper somewhere, unless I gave that away. I think I might have actually gave that to somebody. I was in, yeah, I was in a pinch, and I gave that to my ex roommate for a birthday present because I wanted to get him something. But yeah, that was a drawing that I made all the way back in like 2014. <laughs> I'll have to see if he has that and maybe post that someday. But yeah, as always, letting the credits roll, giving credit where credit is due. And folks, if you have any kind of criticism, positive or negative, to give me on this playthrough, go ahead and leave it in the comments section. I would like to know what your honest input is. I would like your input. I would like to know what your honest opinions are. I would like to know if this channel, if things are good over here. I mean, I I did say early on that I didn't really need subscribers and that I would still do this without such. But I would, I would, I. I but I would appreciate some feedback. So I'm, I'm taking that statement back from earlier. And it's always nice to have that extra feedback, so give me a like, a comment, a subscribe. I'm not one of those kind of people to just go out and beg for that kind of crap, but every little bit does help. I mean, it's nice to have an audience. But yeah, the next time I do a Sonic playthrough, it will either be Sonic Spinball or Sonic 3, so it might be a little while before before we come back to the Sonic series, folks. But in the meantime, I will be putting more and more content out on this channel, and like I said, I hope, I hope it's decent enough for somebody to watch, I guess. <laughs> But anyway, that's the end of the credit sequence, and here's one of the few things that's different about that ending cutscene is the planet comes back, and it's like, try again, but I'm just like, no, not again. But anyways, that's the end of Sonic CD, and I'm glad y'all tuned in, and I'll see you next time.